ever pondered the first light that ever existed in our universe, what secrets does it hold? The dawn of light, an event that transpired nearly 14 billion years ago, holds the key to understanding our cosmic origins. This primordial light, the earliest illuminations of our universe, are not merely historical footprints. They are cryptic messages from the past, whispering the universe's deepest secrets. From the mysterious cosmic microwave background, the afterglow of the Big Bang, to the puzzling paradox of universe expansion, the enigma of early light presents us with a plethora of cosmic mysteries, each one a testament to the vast and complex nature of our universe. In today's exploration, we'll delve into the top 10 mysteries hidden within the universe's early light, each a puzzle piece contributing to our understanding of the cosmos, but also raising new, even more profound questions. Prepare to embark on a journey through time and space as we unravel these cosmic enigmas. Imagine a universe shrouded in darkness and silence, then suddenly light breaks free. But what triggered this first light? This question has puzzled scientists and astronomers for generations. The universe, once a dark, silent expanse, was suddenly ignited by the first light, marking a pivotal moment in cosmic history. What could have sparked this illumination? The answer lies in the complex dance of matter and energy. As the universe expanded, particles of matter and energy intermingled creating a hot, dense state where everything was incredibly close together. This mixture eventually cooled and expanded, allowing photons, particles of light, to travel freely for the first time. This event, known as photon decoupling, triggered the first light in the universe, but the precise moment and the exact conditions that led to this cosmic dawn remain elusive. The birth of light, marking the dawn of cosmic history, remains one of the biggest mysteries. Our universe hums with a faint echo of its infancy, the cosmic microwave background. But not all is as it seems. This relic radiation, a snapshot of the universe just 375,000 years after the Big Bang, is not entirely uniform as initially thought. Instead, it displays intriguing anomalies that have perplexed scientists for decades. One such anomaly is the CMB cold spot. This unusually large and frigid region in the universe's microwave background defies the cosmological principle. The idea that the universe, when viewed at a sufficiently large scale, should look the same no matter where we observe it from. Then there's the axis of evil, a peculiar alignment of the universe's largest structures which seems to violate the assumption of isotropy. The idea that the universe should be the same in all directions. This alignment is so unlikely that it challenges our fundamental understanding of the cosmos. And let's not forget the hemispherical asymmetry, another puzzling anomaly. It's the temperature difference between the northern and southern hemispheres of the cosmic microwave background, a difference that's not predicted by the standard model of cosmology. These cosmic bruises challenge our understanding of the universe's infancy. They hint at a pre-Big Bang epoch, perhaps even new physics beyond our current theories. As we continue to probe these anomalies, we might just uncover secrets about the early universe that could rewrite our cosmic history. In the early universe, matter and antimatter should have annihilated each other, so why does matter dominate today? This question brings us to the enigma of the missing antimatter a cosmic conundrum that continues to baffle scientists. The Big Bang, the universe's fiery birth, should have given equal birth to matter and antimatter. These two, in theory, should have wiped each other out, leaving behind a universe devoid of the galaxies, stars and planets we see today. Yet, here we are, living in a universe dominated by matter. So, where has all the antimatter gone? This question is not just about missing particles, it's about understanding the fundamental laws of physics and the universe itself. Some theories suggest that during the universe's infancy, a slight imbalance occurred. For every billion particles of antimatter, there were a billion and one particles of matter. The antimatter and matter annihilated each other as expected, 
But that extra one matter particle for every billion persisted. Over billions of years, these surviving particles of matter formed everything we see in the universe today. However, this theory isn't entirely satisfying, as it doesn't explain why such an imbalance would occur in the first place. It's akin to having a coin land on heads a billion plus one times out of two billion flips, a statistical improbability. The missing antimatter, a cosmic puzzle that keeps scientists awake at night. An invisible substance shapes our universe, but what is this dark matter? Lurking in the shadows, unseen yet powerful, dark matter is a cosmic enigma, an enigmatic ingredient making up about 85% of the matter in the universe. In the early universe, dark matter was a pivotal player. It gravitationally attracted ordinary matter, helping to form the first galaxies. Light from these galaxies, part of the universe's early light, offers clues to the dark matter puzzle. Dark matter does not emit, reflect or absorb light. It is invisible to our telescopes, but we know it's there. How? Because we see its effects. Galaxies spin so fast they should tear themselves apart, but they don't. Something unseen holds them together. That's dark matter. The early universe was a cosmic soup of particles. Among them, photons, particles of light, constantly collided with other particles, creating a radiant afterglow. This cosmic microwave background light is a snapshot of the universe when it was just 400,000 years old. It provides a map to dark matter's distribution in the early universe, its gravitational effects imprinting subtle patterns on this light. Yet despite these clues, dark matter remains a mystery. We know neither what it is nor what it's made of. Numerous theories abound, but none have been proven. Dark matter, then, is a tantalizing cosmic riddle, a key piece of the universe's early story yet to be deciphered. Dark matter, the unseen architect of our universe, remains elusive. The universe expands at an accelerating pace, but why and how? Let's delve into the mystery of the universe's accelerating expansion, a conundrum that has left scientists scratching their heads for decades. You see, according to our understanding of physics, the universe's expansion should be slowing down due to gravity. After all, gravity pulls things together, right? But the universe has a mind of its own. Instead of slowing down, it's expanding at an ever-increasing rate. This discovery, made in the late 90s, shook the foundations of cosmology. Scientists then proposed the concept of dark energy, a mysterious force that counteracts gravity and is believed to be driving this accelerated expansion. This acceleration means that the universe is getting bigger, faster, with every passing second. It's as though we're on a cosmic roller coaster that's continually speeding up. But here's where it gets even more interesting. The early light of the universe, the cosmic microwave background, suggests that this wasn't always the case. The universe began with a Big Bang, an explosion of space itself, and for a time it seems, gravity was winning, slowing the expansion. So the question remains, what sparked this cosmic acceleration? What is this dark energy that seems to defy gravity? The accelerated expansion of the universe is a paradox that challenges our understanding of the cosmos and pushes us to rethink our theories. The universe's acceleration, a cosmic riddle that defies our understanding of physics. Stars, the beacons of light in our universe. But where and when did the first stars ignite? Imagine a universe not yet illuminated by starlight, a time before the cosmos was set ablaze by the first stars, a period aptly known as the cosmic dark ages. This era, stretching for a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, was a time of darkness, much like a stage set for a grand performance awaiting the arrival of its first actors. Enter the first stars, or as astronomers so poetically call them, Population 3 stars. These celestial bodies were not like the familiar stars we see today. No, these were behemoths, much larger and hotter, burning brightly with a fierce, almost violent light. Their brief, explosive lives ended in supernovae, seeding the cosmos with the elements necessary for future stars, galaxies, and even life as we know it.
but the birth of these first stars remains a profound mystery. How did matter in the early universe, mostly hydrogen and helium, collapse under gravity to form these stellar giants? How did they break through the cosmic dark ages to ignite the first light? And why can't we see any remnants of these ancient stars today? These questions have puzzled scientists for decades, but the answers lie hidden in the cosmic microwave background, the afterglow of the Big Bang. By studying this relic radiation, we're slowly piecing together the story of our universe's first light. The first stars, their birth shrouded in mystery, hold secrets to our cosmic origins. A period of dramatic transformation, the epoch of reionization. But what exactly happened during this cosmic era? Well, the epoch of reionization is one of the most intriguing chapters in the story of our universe's early light. We're talking about a period roughly a billion years after the Big Bang, when the universe underwent a significant change. Here's where it gets a bit technical, but hang in there. Until this point, the universe was filled with neutral hydrogen gas, making it opaque to certain types of light. But during the epoch of reionization, the first luminous objects, stars, galaxies, and quasars, began to form, and their intense radiation ionized this neutral hydrogen. Now, why is this epoch so mysterious? It's because our understanding of it is still quite foggy. We have yet to directly observe the first celestial bodies that caused this reionization. We're relying on indirect evidence and complex computer simulations to piece together this cosmic puzzle. The mystery deepens when we consider the implications. This epoch significantly influenced the structure and evolution of galaxies. Understanding it could shed light on the formation of the universe's large-scale structure. Yet, despite our best efforts, there's a lot we don't know. How quickly did this process occur? What were the characteristics of these early light sources? How did they influence the subsequent evolution of the universe? These are questions that continue to challenge and inspire researchers. The epoch of reionization, a time of cosmic change, still puzzles scientists today. The Great Filter, a theoretical barrier to life in the universe, but have we passed it, or is it yet to come? Let's delve into the mystery of the Great Filter and its implications for our understanding of the universe's early light. Imagine a cosmic speed bump, a hurdle so significant that it prevents life as we know it from thriving. That's the Great Filter. The universe, you see, has been around for nearly 14 billion years. Given this vast expanse of time and the abundance of habitable planets, one might assume that the cosmos should be teeming with life. Yet, we find ourselves in a seemingly quiet universe. This puzzling silence is what the Great Filter seeks to explain. The Filter proposes that somewhere along the path from lifeless matter to advanced civilizations, there's a hurdle so challenging that it filters out most, if not all, life. If we've already passed this hurdle, it could explain why we haven't detected other civilizations. Perhaps the emergence of life itself, or the leap from simple to complex organisms, is the great filter. However, if the filter is yet to come, it might be a future event so devastating that it wipes out civilizations before they can reach out to the cosmos. A self-imposed nuclear apocalypse, a deadly pandemic, or even an unforeseen cosmic event could potentially serve as this filter. The Great Filter, therefore, is not just a cosmic mystery, but a philosophical conundrum. It forces us to question our place in the universe, the fragility of life, and the potential future of our species. The Great Filter, an enigma that questions our existence and future in this vast universe. Is our universe unique, or are we just one of many in a multiverse? This question brings us to our tenth and final mystery of the universe's early light, the multiverse theory. This theory posits that our universe may not be the only one. Instead, it could be just one bubble in an infinite sea of other universes, each with its own laws of physics, dimensions, and even time. The multiverse theory is a mind-bending concept that has sparked debates among physicists and cosmologists alike. Its implications for our understanding of the universe's early light are profound and far-reaching. If our universe is just one of many, 
then the cosmic microwave background we see might not be the only one out there. There could be other universes with their own Big Bangs, their own cosmic backgrounds, each telling a different story of creation and evolution. But how could we ever detect these other universes? Some suggest that if another universe were close enough, it might leave a detectable imprint on our cosmic background. Others propose that the laws of quantum mechanics might allow for the existence of parallel universes. However, the multiverse theory remains unproven, and many scientists consider it more of a philosophical question than a scientific one. It's a tantalizing concept that challenges our understanding of reality, yet it also opens up a whole new realm of possibilities for our understanding of the universe's early light. The multiverse theory, a tantalizing concept that challenges our understanding of reality, as we journeyed through the cosmos, we've encountered some profound mysteries. We've seen the dawn of light and felt the great silence. We've grappled with the cosmic microwave background anomaly, the missing antimatter, and the enigma of dark matter. We've pondered the paradox of cosmic expansion and marveled at the first stars. We've delved into the epoch of reionization, wrestled with the concept of the great filter, and contemplated the possibility of a multiverse. Each of these mysteries is a puzzle piece, an integral part of the grand cosmic tapestry. They challenge our understanding, fuel our curiosity, and push the boundaries of our knowledge. These mysteries, as complex as they are fascinating, are the keys to unlocking the secrets of our universe's early light, and they stand as a testament to the boundless wonders that await our exploration. These mysteries remind us that the universe, in its grandeur and complexity, still holds many secrets waiting to be unraveled. Before we part ways on this cosmic journey, we want to remind you that the universe is not just out there, it's right here. It's within your screens, your minds, and your hearts. Each one of you is a part of this grand cosmic tapestry. Your curiosity, your questions, your thirst for knowledge is what drives us to delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe. So, we invite you to be a part of this exploration. Hit the like button if this video sparked your interest. Share your thoughts, theories and questions in the comment section below. We are a community of cosmic explorers. And your voice matters. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on our next expedition into the cosmos. And remember, sharing is caring. If you enjoyed this journey as much as we did, share this video with your friends and family. Let's spread the wonder, the curiosity, and the joy of discovery. Together, we can peel back the layers of the universe one mystery at a time. We are all stardust, after all, on a quest to understand our cosmic origins. So as we say goodbye for now, Remember, the universe is vast, mysterious, and waiting to be explored. Join us as we continue to unravel the secrets of the cosmos. Until then, keep looking up.